He slumps back on the corner, though, at the end of the round. Well, he's put a tremendous amount of effort into this fight. Kevin Mitchell makes it at all. Well, from what he's seen, I bet he fancies it. He fancies Murray, I mean. Mitchell was, of course, the original opponent listed for, for Murray this evening for one reason or another. Boxing politics stopped it happening. I don't think it was politics, Ed. I think Murray, uh, Mitchell didn't like the purse he was offered. <laughs> He felt he was worth a lot more money than uh, Frank Warren offered him, even though he'd lost his last fight. In fact, he was stopped by Katsidis, and uh, he was the challenger and not the champion. But Mitchell's argument was that he was going to sell the most of the tickets. <clears throat> but I'm sure that uh, as long as Murray comes through this, they will fight. It's too good a fight not to happen, isn't it? Well, we've said that a few times, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this, the greatest fight in the world is not happening at the moment, and that is Pacquiao and uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Sure. Which would be the richest fight in the history of boxing. We live in Who, hope. Including all the heavyweights. Still coming forward, Murray, still having his successes. He's still getting caught himself. Heads bang together a bit. They'll both be sore tomorrow. And again, Murray a little bit dangerous with the head there, perhaps. You will have to watch that. The referee's already picked him up on it twice. The rounds have flown by for us watching. I'm sure it's different in there. Tough battle if ever so one. How are you scoring it, Colin? Oh, I've got Murray uh, well ahead. Uh, each round, although he's won the rounds, have been hard fought, and he's only just won them. Some of them, anyway. He's been very close. There's always the chance either one might suddenly fade, might hit the wall. It's been such a hard physical battle. Grueling, tiring. I don't know whether Murray would want to fight Mitchell uh, too quickly after this one. No. I mean, we were thinking maybe if we got this over quickly, it might happen on May the 21st, but mm, I think that, uh, that's probably a bit doubtful now. This has been a real grueling battle. Murray looks like he's bleeding from the mouth as well. I think it's noticeable in this round that Gavi is not trying many shots. I think he must now be really feeling the pace. Mitchell himself just pushing his shots out a little bit now. Some of the snaps gone out of his work. Body shots, a lot of head shots. Uskari has turned out to be a lot more durable than we expected. Time out from the referee. Just bringing them together, is it? 
Have a quick word. Not sure what he was complaining about there. Probably warning them about their heads, I would have thought. There's been nothing else to warn them about, has there? No. Very little holding. Sometimes a bit agricultural, the style of both, but uh, earnest, exciting stuff. Both giving absolutely everything they've got. Good spell here from Eluz Gari at the start of the tenth. Murray seemed to switch off a little bit there. <laughs> may have taken a breather in the previous round. He's been certainly pushed. coming back very strongly in this round. He's been pushed back here, Murray. And I worry in fights like this when you see someone hit so often, as Murray has been, whether it could catch up with him. Oh well, Uzgari is certainly uh, in control of this round so far. I mean, Murray would really have to fade, you'd think, to give El Uzgari a chance of the upset. You can't really see it on point, but uh, sometimes different people have different interpretations of a fight. It's been uh, a lot of the rounds have been quite close, I would say. I've kind of had uh, Murray winning them. But it is his objective art scoring a fight. This guy is complaining to the referee about something. A of low blows. Low there. blows. So that's three times he's been warned for various infringements. Murray. This guy is calling out a complaining bitterly to the referees about uh, Murray's head and head work and low punching. Oh, no. He's on the floor again, but again he was pushed down by Murray. They're both obviously a little bit tired. Good attack from Murray. And Uzgari suddenly seems a bit disorganised and then flails back. Maybe it's just a balance thing with him as opposed to being hurt. And he's still teeing shots off back at Murray. Where they're increasingly a bit wild. Well, I made Uzgari win that round, that's for sure. Though I've still got uh, Murray comfortably ahead from his work early on. I mean, when Ricky Happen was coming through, people said maybe he got hit too much and that he wouldn't be able to step up and beat someone like Kostya Su. He was an underdog in that fight against a big puncher. And he found another level. Maybe John Murray has got that other level within him and needs a challenge. Maybe he's taken this guy lightly. It's inevitable if you keep winning at a certain level, you're going to start taking things for granted. Well, I think uh, Uzgari has shown us that uh, John Murray has quite a few flaws. And uh, if he wants to fight for world titles against the top Mexicans, he's going to have to do something about his defence. But you know, at 26, and it's probably too late to do very much about it. Maybe it's a mindset. Maybe sometimes you get in there and you think, I'm going to walk through this person. You switch your brain off a little bit mentally. Uh, there's blood on the face of Murray. I don't know whether that's from uh, the nose or whether there's a slight cut or something. Looks okay.
is Garvey's corner and urging him to go forward. He looks slightly more sprightly in this round again. He's catching uh, Murray so easily with both hands. It'll be interesting to hear what Murray thinks of his own performance, how he assesses it. Maybe it's fortunate that Uzgavi's not a banger either. Uh, there is a tired look to Murray now. Well, he has put a tremendous amount of effort into this fight, I must say. There's one and a half rounds to go. Uzgavi's winning this round for me as well. Worrying that, to be honest, the way he's getting hit here, Murray. He's every right to be tired, but he looks slightly like he's... He is very, very weary now. Time out for the referee, Warren. Oh, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The point referee off. has taken a point off Uzgari, presumably for the illegal use of the head. And yet, he's been warning Murray all night for it. Well, there you go. Murray was looking up at the big screen in the hall then. You see the time left in the round. I think he'll be glad when the final bell goes, assuming it goes the distance. Maybe some lessons learned. Can go back, study the tape, go back to the gym. Just could really do with his night's work being over now. And he finds another gear from somewhere and bundles Uzgari over to the canvas just to slip. And Uzgari starts complaining. And the referee's counting it as a knockdown. Uh, that, you know, I, I don't know where this Italian referee is getting it from. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And that means Uzgari has lost two points in this round. So probably a 10-0.